According to the information we received, Japan will be retiring a number of Fuji Bell A1J Huey helicopters and Type 74 main battle tanks that are scheduled to be retired from service soon from the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force JGSDF. In this video, let's talk about the possible transfer of the Type 74 main battle tank to the Philippines and whether this project can be continued by the Philippine Army. The Japanese Type 74 main battle tank does look old, but this tank is still very much feared by other countries, and the Philippine Army needs to get several units of these tanks. We all know that goods or products from Japan do have very good quality, as evidenced by the Type 74 Japanese main battle tank, which has been operating for a very long time to this day. According to reports, the Philippines will be the first recipient of the grant, which could include funding and equipment. Further details will be finalized after the Japanese parliament passes the budget. The Philippines could receive military helicopters and tanks from Japan as part of a security cooperation grant. Nikkei reported that Japan is looking to provide a security cooperation grant to the Philippines, its first such allotment under a new program designed to bolster the defensive capabilities of regional allies. Japan is now beginning to relax restrictions on the export of excess defense articles EDA, to friendly countries, as this is currently not possible under Japanese law. Currently, Japan is only allowed to transfer EDA military equipment used for disaster response and information gathering, but not for combat. The plan is that this proposal to transfer combat usable EDA equipment will be included as part of Japan's National Security Strategy White Paper by the end of 2022, and the law will be revised to support this move by the end of 2023. Keep in mind that these are still plans, and it is possible for Japan to change its policies or experience delays in its targets, so things are still in full swing at the moment. Therefore, it would be wrong to say that Japan is specifically planning to donate tanks or missiles to the Philippines, although their plan of action to remove the restrictions on arms donations might lead to the possibility of formulating a plan or proposal to donate to the Philippines. See the difference? In short, there has been no official proposal from Japan for them to donate anything to the Philippines or any other country. But the intention is there. Now. If all these moves from Japan actually result in a tank donation, Max Defense Philippines earlier suggested the acceptance of the Type 74 Iron Elephant tank as a training platform for future combined arms and armor maneuvers, as a red force, or as an enemy force during exercises, especially when the planned AFP Combined Arms Training Center becomes operational. The Type 74 is the main battle tank MBT, of the Japanese Ground Self-Defense Force, JGSDF. It was built by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries as a complement to the earlier Type 61. It is based on the best features of a number of contemporary designs, placing it in the same class as the US M60 Patton or the German Leopard 1. Like this design, it mounted the M68105 mm gun. The design was not widely used until 1980, when other Western powers had introduced more capable designs. It was followed by the heavier Type 90. Both the Type 74 and Type 90 tanks were equipped and would eventually be replaced by the new generation Type 10 tank. The hull of the Type 74 MBT is made of all welded steel and is divided into three compartments. The driver's compartment at the front, the fighting compartment in the center, and the engine compartment at the rear. The driver sits at the front of the vehicle on the left side and is equipped with a one-piece hatch cover that can be opened to the left. There are three JM17 Mod 2 periscopes mounted in front of this hatch cover and an infrared or passive night periscope can be mounted in the center of the hatch cover and used in conjunction with an infrared driving light. 